cannot believe I've never walked into a Salvatore Ferragamo shop before. I mean, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Berliners, that's what we call them. No, they're not donuts. Donuts have a rule in the middle. <laughs> These are Berliners. So, um, tell me, these are the best ones you these say in London? In, in London? So we got ours. I got a velvet chocolate one. You got? Uh, the praline. Hello everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday morning in London. Cheers, Cheers, of course. That's my newest addiction, by the way. Obviously not sponsored, but the ice brown sugar oat shake and espresso. Right? It's good. It's really yeah. good. <laughs> so here we have our bread ahead donuts. And yeah, I would say let's start the day with that. First of all, guys, today we need to talk about Balenciaga's new trash bag. You have seen pictures. Give me your opinion. He's just laughing. <laughs> have you seen the film Zoolander? No. The, there's a film called Zoolander. Okay. And it's a film about the fashion industry and how silly it is and uh, the villain in that, Mugatu, yeah. launches his own derelict line which is basically homeless chic and that's, oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the bag. Like, <laughs> oh my god yeah it is. It's such a trash bag. I think to be honest the designer of Balenciaga he probably saw that everybody was commenting on the Chanel 22 and saying it's a trash bag right and then he was thinking i can do that in a better way <laughs> i can actually give them a trash bag they want a trash bag they get a trash bag you're gonna take inspiration that's not the bag <laughs> to take inspiration yeah. from well that's uh right <laughs> okay so what's our plan for today donuts uh, yeah yeah donuts donuts oh my god then we can see them already i show you in a second i show you in a second but also we have another plan we're gonna look at some salvatore ferragamo bags today yeah let's go hunting let's go hunting and you say there's filling inside as well right yeah there should be plenty of filling <gasps> Oh, I love Berliners and guys look at this we are sitting at the Victoria and Albert Museum and it's such a beautiful day but I burn so quickly so we need to sit in the shade it's tiny though we should have it's gotten not tiny, we should have gotten it? two <laughs> and we're here let's go in and have a look this bag is quite nice reminds me a little bit of the Giacomo's bag okay so that's the classic one it's nice for me that's right nice. yeah I think I really need to get one of these. It's the perfect bag if you don't want a Kelly, but it still has the style of a Kelly. And there are so many beautiful pieces. Let's look at that pink one. Here we are with the classic Salvatore Ferragamo. And guys, I have seen this one in Japan in the vintage shops, like vintage versions of this, and they still look exactly the same. And I think it is the perfect alternative to, you know, box calf Kelly. I mean, just look at this shiny box calf skin. It's gorgeous. I think we need this one. So this that's the inside. Leather. You have compartments. My mom would love that. Okay, so this is my highlight um, from today. Look at this gorgeous color. It's a crocodile or an alligator. It's slightly shiny. I think we should try this one on too. This is classic brown as well. Absolutely love it. I just think it's gorgeous. Exactly, I saw it already like in when we were in Japan in like the vintage shops and those bags were like 20 years old. I mean they're still, you know, it's such a heritage bag, right? For anybody who loves the red, we have the red crocodile version as well. Yeah, and beautiful beige croc. Wow. I definitely need one of those in my collection. What is this? Is this like Torian leather? Or it's a little bit more durable probably, leather, right? Yes. This is like scratch, you can scratch it probably oh, more this easily. One is scratchy, but this one yeah. is more durable. So that's a classic as well, just slightly yes, bigger. Yes, and we have as well Yeah. Bigger. Oh wow, so it's three different sizes yeah, in total. Right. This one in like a purple as well. Usually pink and purple is like really my colors. We have in different colors. Upstairs? Upstairs? Yeah. I, yeah, I'll go have a look with you. <laughs> It's, it's so gorgeous. Where are you from, guys? Uh, well, I am originally from Germany, but I live here, so we live we live in London. But I just want this one for myself. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. I'm upstairs, guys, and I saw they have the same bag in gold and in golden crocodile. This is embossed, right? This is not real crocodile. This is embossed, right? Oh, this is real as well. Oh my God. Wow, it rather looks like embossed, but it's real. Oh, guys. How gorgeous is this? 
But this one is really nice as well. I'm gonna be a massive Salvatore Ferragamo fan, guys. How gorgeous are these bags? A little yellow bag. This actually looks like patent leather. Oh, and here we can see the classic um, Gancini in like a wider version as well. So they come in three different sizes. This is the smallest downstairs. The bigger black one we've just seen is the medium. And this is like a more rectangular shape. But I think you can never have enough golden bags. <laughs> These towels, yeah, these towels are gorgeous too. This I've seen online as well. I think it's cute. Okay, guys, so wow, I know I have enough golden bags, I know it, but I mean, if you see something like this, can you resist? I can't. Oh, can you see how it's like a mirror reflection? Absolutely gorgeous. I want to take this one home. And the pink one. I cannot believe I've never walked into Salvatore Ferragamo shop before. I mean, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Look at these. I think I will definitely go from shop to shop. Oh, wow. Like a black ra raffia. Is this raffia? No, it's not. It's like a wooden bag, but how gorgeous. Um, I think I will go to all the different shops and look what they have and I will get those bags. I think I definitely need a black one and a gold one in my collection, right? So we just came out of Salvatore Ferragamo and my heart, I lost my heart to something. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so I, I know we were looking for a present for someone else, however, I fall in love with the classic Salvatore Ferragamo. I knew this was an option. I've seen them online and now that I've seen them in real life, they are gorgeous and the quality again is so good. The leather that they use is right, the shine oh, yeah, of yeah, it yeah. and oh, it's so beautiful. So maybe we have to go back later. Any comments? We're gonna have to get a new cabinet, aren't we? <laughs> maybe. We are back guys. Okay, so which one is it? Which one should we pick? I mean, this is the dream, maybe one day. I love this. I don't have a brown bag yet. Or how about a classic beige? The black? But I mean, I have so many black bags, right? This is definitely something else. I mean, we came here to pick a bag for someone else's birthday. And what are we doing now? Oh. Someone got distracted. I got distracted. Obviously, I'm not gonna say which bag I'm picking in terms of color combination, but it's 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 a good choice, right? You always want to get me into white trainers. <laughs> Is that an option? It's not entirely white. I've got some flowers. <laughs> if it gets you wearing trainers. If it gets me wearing trainers, guys, tell me, are you fans of trainers? I hate them. <laughs> Waiting, and she's packing my bag. Let's have a quick look at these sparkly shoes, and there's a nice clutch. Ooh, they have like a little box bag as well, like a little vanity case. That's pretty as well. And ooh, Python. How gorgeous is that? Quick outfit of the day as well, guys. This is obviously one of my favorite summer dresses at the moment. I love the asymmetrical cut, I can always only say it. And today we're wearing my little Laura happy bag. And guys, the Chanel um, 22 bag obviously has a little logo coin, right? That's hanging here as well. The Lover one has one too. With the mother and child logo. Love it. I'm getting a second coffee today, but can you see that? That's my bag. <laughs> so let's get a little, you know, I need, I need it for the shock. This is the first time I am seeing the eye care. Is it called eye care bag? It is definitely not for me. I can see it's a peel. Um, it's not for me because, you know, I like to be under the radar and this is not, <laughs> but it's definitely cool. I just walked past Roberto Cavalli again and I saw this. I wonder if it's real croc and can we see all the little crystals? Um, and there we have a little clutch as well. I mean, I love all kinds of like different golden handles, but that's a bit much, right? That is, that is, that is a lot. I think it's always really interesting, oh, the reflection. Like Roberto Cavalli has interesting designs. <laughs> we just came out of the Salvatore Ferragamo shop and I, I, I can cheers to myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's, this is still a luxury experience what we've just experienced, right? Because there was basically no one in this shop, you don't have to queue. Um, we had two sales associates serving us 
as lovely as can be. Yeah, as lovely as they could be. And the manager still came down as well and they invited me to an event in September. And we really came out there feeling like a million bucks, right? That's what luxury is about. Right? That's what luxury should be about. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. <laughs> and I see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs>